Hello, my lovelies. Welcome. Happy Monday. I am so excited to be here with you today. My name is Stephanie Classy. I am your GoPure esthetician, and today we are going to be talking all about Cleansing 101. We're getting back to the basics, and we are going to be sharing all that is good and awesome about cleansing our skin. And I have something really amazing to share with you all. So I'm so excited for today. When you hop on, I already see tons of you hopping on. So when you hop on, first things first, create a unique username when you hop on because we're doing giveaways today, which we love. And I love chatting with you in the comments. So if you create a unique username in the chat, we can make sure we're giving away the right things to the right people. And I absolutely love when I recognize you in the chat as well. Hi, Izzy, how are you? We have so many people hopping on. Hi, Jen. Um, today we are doing an awesome educational shopping live. So on these, what's super cool is if you see something that piques your interest that you want to try, you can actually shop right while you learn, which is so cool. Oh, I have the volume up on my other device. I just, I just realized, okay, that's better. I have so many devices going on right now so I can watch your comments and know what I'm talking about and all of that. So, um, hi Rika. Um, say hello, let me know where you are joining us from today and let me know if you've seen one of our lives and um, I just always love seeing who's coming back for more awesome education and content and of course for your chance to win. And today we are giving away our amazing vitamin C cleanser because this live is all about cleansing, cleansing 101 and the basics of cleansing. Now, I do wanna say, I know I have my glasses on and sometimes we can see a reflection. Um, if it gets too bad, I can take them off. My eyes just were not cooperating with me <laughs> not wearing them. So it's kind of necessary today um, with my glasses. Um, hello, hello. Hi, Nana's joining us. Nana G is joining us from Florida. Oh, Sherry made it. Yes, from central Wisconsin. Welcome, welcome, welcome. So um, ask questions, ask questions in the chat. I love when these are conversational and collaborative. It's a collaborative educational event we're having here today. And remember, I'm gonna be sharing a sneak peek at something very, very cool that you all have been asking about. And we haven't actually spilled the beans on this one. So if you think it's our eye cream, you are wrong. It's something different. Who is excited about that? Drop some hearts. If you are excited to hear about this awesome reveal today, and um, let's get let's get into it. Again, my name's Stephanie Classy. I'm your GoPure esthetician. I get to help you on your journey here with GoPure so you can reach all of your skin goals, so you can feel excited about using your products and feel like you're confident in knowing how to use your products. And I love that so much. And at GoPure here, you get clean, skincare without compromise. You have confidence in knowing that what is in your products is good and clean and will work. We are clinically proven, dermatologist reviewed, hypoallergenic, and just always amazing. And it, they, these products just deliver incredible results. So I am so excited to, um, Harley, we're excited you're here too. Crystal's joining us from Manchester, Kentucky. Oh yes, we have so many of you on today and I just see you dropping hearts and that makes me, I wanna see how many hearts we can drop today. Um, ooh, Jen, yes, this is the best skincare. I love it so much. And Bev, we are gonna be talking about the microdermabrasion in this too. Okay, Carlson's joining from Colorado. That's where I am, I'm in Colorado. Welcome, welcome. Let's see how many hearts we can drop today. Let's, let's pick a goal. I wanna see how many hearts we can get dropped on this live too. I just got back to Colorado from California, feeling dehydrated, so I'm gonna be sipping on the water for sure. Ginny P is joining from San Diego. All right, now, we are going to be giving away vitamin C cleansers today, so ask your questions, participate. Let the, let the people in our control room, like Crystal, see what you are up to. Let us know you are engaged in the conversation and that will always increase your odds of winning cool things. Um, and then if you have a question, if you uh, finish your sentence with a question mark, we can actually pull up the comments by question and that can help us answer any questions you may have. And I wanted to share, like make sure you're joint, make sure you're in our VIP group. Let us know if you are in our VIP group 
because you can always ask questions in there. It's an incredible, uplifting community, and we just continue the awesome conversations that we have here in that space on Facebook. And follow us on social media like TikTok. We are actually announcing today um, a giveaway on TikTok for us to get to 15,000 followers. So you're gonna wanna make sure you're following us there too so you don't miss a thing, okay? Who's ready? Who's ready to get this party started? I'm ready to get this party started. Let's talk about cleansing 101, all right? The basics of cleansing. Now, you might be saying, Stephanie, we wash our face, like what? What do we need to know about that? What is so special about cleansing that we would need a whole live dedicated to talking about it? Well, cleansing is an essential step in our skincare routine. It's one of the basics. It's where we start our routine and it's how we ensure that we are getting the results that we want and really putting our best face forward <laughs> and starting with a clean slate so our products can absorb their best, but we want to remove the dirt, the oil, the bacteria, the stressors, the allergens, and any of those free radical causing elements that can actually really age the skin. So in essence, cleansing is a true anti-aging step, but it's a basic step. So no matter how simple and straightforward your routine is, no matter how varied and intricate um, your routine is everyone needs a cleanser who agrees drop some hearts if you agree everyone needs a cleanser everyone needs a cleanser cami loves the vip group i love that um, but yes everyone needs a cleanser it is factual oh my gosh we are crushing it with the hearts you all i I'm, we're gonna record this at the end and see how many hearts we got because i'm already impressed and proud of every one of you we're just going to be breaking records that really only we care about but that's what matters <laughs> so yes everyone needs a cleanser it is essential and there are best practices there are absolutely best practices that we can have when we cleanse our skin so we can get the best results because we don't want to underdo it. We don't want to overdo it. You know, we want to we want to get it in that just right happy place with cleansing our skin. Hi, Kathy from Kentucky. Yes, Gina, we agree. We agree for sure. So, cleansing before our cleanser. Who here has heard of a pre-cleanse or the concept of a double cleanse? I'm a huge fan of using a pre-cleanser um, and the idea of a double cleanse. So the concept of a cleanser before our cleanser, what does that even mean? So a pre-cleanse is using a product before our traditional cleanser, so before our traditional cleanser, that works to easily and effectively remove excess dirt, oil, pollution, makeup. And the thing about makeup too is that not all cleansers are actually formulated to fully remove makeup. Why is that? Well, makeup is, can get kind of hardcore and there's a lot of elements in makeup these days in particular that make it very long wearing, that make it really adhere to the skin. And not all cleansers should actually be formulated to take off all of that because remember, we don't wanna take off too much of the, the good stuff when we're removing the bad stuff. So a pre-cleanse utilizes specially formulated products with ingredients that can gently and effectively remove that excess dirt, oil, pollution, all of those things in a gentle manner. So we can then follow that with our traditional cleanser and that cleanser can absorb more deeply and still be protecting that delicate lipid barrier. Yes, I'm just, um, all right, so now I'm, I'm checking the comments to make sure I'm not missing anything fun. I never wanna miss the fun in the comments, but there are two main ways to go about a double cleanse, well, I guess three, but really my two favorites, uh, with a pre-cleanse. You can use an oil cleanser or an oil. And if you've seen me talk about using our, I use the argan oil, but you can use our argan or our rosehip oil, two of our favorites and besties. We fought long and hard to keep this argan oil in stock. And trust me, I was right along with you behind the scenes. <laughs> trying to uh, throw my small amount of weight around to keep that in stock because um, oils are very effective at breaking down dirt and oil and especially makeup. 
and removing that. And they're a, great as a straight up makeup remover or to utilize a, as that oil cleanser in your pre-cleanse. Or you can use um, a micellar, but let's talk about oils and oil cleansing. So dry skin naturally lacks oil. And so when you're using something that is oil-based to, to remove all of those um, stressors from the skin, all of those impurities from the skin, you're actually bolstering your lipid barrier. You're going to be adding that oil in and it is gonna be really, really beneficial for dry skin types. Now, when you think on the other end, oily skin types, well, you would say, well, Steph, obviously oily skin shouldn't do this. Well, that is actually wrong. Oil likes oil. Oil mixes with oil well. And so when you're using oil-based products, even on oily skin, it can be very clarifying because oil works well with oil and it can be very effective at removing impurities from even the oiliest skin. So I love oil-based products from the driest to the oiliest skin types. And even just as a straight up makeup remover around the eyes, I'm a huge fan. And Oils like argan oil and rosehip, because they have, like, they're non comedogenic, they will not clog pores. You don't have near the worries for issues of milia around the eyes. You don't have to deal with the tugging and pulling as oils will gently break down and dissolve makeup and those dirt, um, dirt and impurities and all of that. And then we can wipe it away nicely. But argan is actually super packed with vitamin E, which is an amazing nutrient around the eye area, especially if you struggle with dark circles. So that's why I'm a huge, huge fan. I know I see everyone keep guessing, <laughs> keep guessing. Oh, what about combination skin? That's a really great question. So yes, when I say from dry to skin to oily skin, I am involving everything in between there. So everything from the driest skin to the oiliest skin, um, I love oil and oil-based cleansers. Now here, I do want to differentiate something and add a spotlight of clarity as we talk about cleansers. You can use an oil as a pre-cleanse and as a makeup remover um, and as a substitute in that oil cleanse step. And I'm a huge fan if it's the right oil. Not all oils are suitable as a straight up oil because an oil like argan and rosehip, these are pure pressed seed oils. That is all they are. They are a one ingredient wonder product. They are a booster product. They are so versatile and multifaceted. But an oil cleanser, like a true oil cleanser, actually has surfactants in it. So a surfactant is also, um, these surfactants are special molecules that are oil and water loving, that are what work to remove all of the bad things and hopefully not too much of the good stuff. One of the reasons I love using oils, like straight up oils for drier skin types too, is that it doesn't have a surfactant, it is a straight up oil. It helps to remove makeup and all of those things without the surfactants, um, but you do have to make sure that you are thoroughly cleansing because one thing with surfactants, if you get a true oil cleanser, which is something that I would love for us to have here at GoPure at some point is a cleansing balm or an oil cleanser, is that they're a mix of those oils with some of those micelles, which are cleansing molecules that bunch together that help additionally grab onto those impurities, but they rinse away very cleanly with water. Um, does anyone have questions on that? Yeah, so uh, let's, Nancy, let's get into it. Let's talk about how we use oil as a pre-cleanse. First, we wanna pull hair away from the face, like I have done, that's why I'm in my ponytail today. And then we grab, if you want, grab your headband. Who has this headband? Who loves this headband? I'm so obsessed with this headband. So, and then you can, because I really like making sure we get to the perimeter of the face. We have to be very careful of not ignoring this halo around the edge of the face because we're not trying to get stuff in our hair. So I love a headband because I can get it right up here and just make sure I'm getting my products right up to the perimeter of my hair to make sure we're doing a thorough cleansing and removal all the way up to the hairline. So before we cleanse, whether you're doing a traditional or an oil, I love pulling the hair back or getting it off the face and I love a headband. Now, we want to massage oil, take a few pumps of your oil, and this is the trick with an oil cleanser. 
you massage it onto dry skin. So you don't dampen the face first when you're using an oil or an oil cleanser. You actually massage it onto dry skin to start. So you take a few pumps of the oil, you massage it around the face, on the eye area, all of that, and you massage it in a bit while it gently works to break down those impurities and makeup on the skin. Then what I like to do is take my handy dandy cotton rounds. I love a high quality cotton round or a slightly damp washcloth with warm water and just wipe it away. Then I follow with my vitamin C cleanser. So that's how I like to do it. <laughs> Nancy, yes. <laughs> but that's the thing about oils, Nancy. So Nancy says I have to get the argan oil. I have the rose hip, but it has a strange odor. So oils, these are pure pressed seed oils with no additional additives. Um, and so that's every oil has a very distinct scent to it, but it is natural. Um, yeah, so I love that. Laura uses it on dry skin. Um, should you still do an oil cleanse even if you don't have makeup on? That is a great question. Now. If you, a double cleanse is always optional. I, at the end of the day, love doing an oil cleanse even if I'm not wearing makeup because I want you all to think about this. Let's paint a picture here, shall we? Let's paint a picture. Now, again, and I do wanna say, I don't think a double cleanse is necessary twice a day. I'm a big fan of them at the end of the day. However, you can, if you're doing, using gentle products, you can do it twice a day. But let's think about it here. We're out and about in the world or even when we're in our home. Makeup is just one component to what we want to remove at the end of the day, right? But we, there's also pollution. There are allergens inside and outside of the home. I know my allergies have been like outrageous these last couple weeks, just absolutely outrageous. Um, and and I'm, gonna, I'm gonna drop some info here for you. At any given moment, we have 100 billion <laughs> bacteria on our skin all over head to toe. And usually there's about a thousand different types. We have a lot of different microorganisms, bacteria, viruses, mites, all sorts of things. It's just a part of it. And our skin has what is called a microbiome. Um, it's the same thing in our gut where there are good and bad bacteria, right? Um, but the outside of our body also has to deal with all of the other stuff in the air that we just can't see. Um, so I am a really big fan of using a, a double cleanse, especially if I've been out and about, if I've been sweating more, if I just feel like it's, there's a lot going on in the air because it does get on our skin even if we just can't see it. And so that's why I love an oil cleanse or gentle cleansers just because they really do help do that first round of cleansing. So then when we do go in with our traditional cleanser, it can do a better job and the ingredients in your cleanser can actually penetrate more deeply. And what that's gonna do is just um, enable us to amplify our results with the rest of our routine. Because remember, the purpose of cleansing is for us to really prepare the skin to receive the ingredients in the products that are going to remain on the skin too. So um, one thing that is really important as well is that Things like pollution actually amplify the damage that UV radiation can do. It works like an unfortunate magnet. So pollution in the air amplifies the negative impact of UV radiation and it can cause residual free radical damage as it remains on the skin. So all of these things that sit on our skin, even when we can't see them, those external stressors and impurities can actually continually amplify and increase that free radical damage that does cause the signs of aging. So that's why I'm sitting here saying cleansing is so important because it tr is a true anti-aging step in our routine just because all of the stuff, because remember our skin's job, and drop some hearts when I say this if you've heard me say this before. Our skin has a very important job, right? It wants to keep the good stuff in, which is water, and it wants to keep the bad stuff out, which is all of those different stressors we have been speaking about. And it does that with its lipid barrier, that mix of oils and ceramides and cholesterol that work to seal our skin and keep it supple and soft, prevent that inflammation, and to keep out the bacteria, pollution, and other impurities, as well as those additional free radicals. And so when we do things that support that and use cleansers that don't strip that barrier, you're twofold removing all those yuckies 
and making sure that we're still supporting that barrier. Um, and that, yes, Cami, that's why we don't want to sleep in our makeup. I know, Rose, we're over 3K in hearts. You're doing so good with the hearts. Let's keep track of that and see how we do. And this, yes, Arlene, the skin is the largest organ that we have. And so it's, it is, it's so important just to make sure that we are kicking off our routine um, and getting that strong start because during the day, our skin is in protection mode. And some of you, if you've seen my lives, you know, you know that, I say this all the time, but it's true. So during the day, our skin is in protection mode. It's really trying to fight those stressors and that free radical damage. And so cleansing when we start is so important because we want to help support what our skin naturally wants to do during the day, which is that protection mode. And at night when we sleep, our skin goes into renewal mode. Um, and it wants to renew and it wants to restore and we release hormones that actually our cell turnover naturally increases. Um, and we're naturally producing more collagen and we are fighting off the damage that happens during the day. And so that is why our night cleansing routine and our night skincare routine is just so important because we're, we're accumulating so much on our skin during the day. And then at night, our skin wants to repair and restore and renew. And so that is why I just absolutely love double cleansing at night, even um, if I'm not wearing makeup because I don't wear makeup every day. Um, and sometimes I wear a little and sometimes I wear a lot, um, but it is very important. So let's, let's continue. Any more questions about oil cleansing? Yes, never sleep. We don't wanna sleep in our makeup. And one of the things that dramatically changed the condition of my skin um, was my commitment to my evening routine. I don't think I have missed my evening routine in five years. It's not a single night. And I'm not saying that to brag, I'm saying that because I feel like <laughs> I'm an example of the difference that it, that consistency can make and just kicking your routine off because the, and that cleansing step is so important and not to be skipped because we don't wanna be putting products on top of that dirty skin either. So, yes, and you can share it. I forgot that I love uh, seeing that, that little arrow at the bottom you, that's next to the hearts that we are dropping like crazy today. You can actually just share and invite your friends because we want more people here to win. Um, this baby here is driving me crazy. We're gonna have to deal with that too. But <laughs> it does feel so good to double cleanse. It feels amazing and my skin always feels nourished and not stripped. Um, so let's talk about the second type of product that I love for a double cleanse if I am not using an oil or an oil cleanser, or even if I am. And it may be our special, I'm, I'm sneak peeking for you. And I sometimes I'm not sure what I'm allowed to share, but I'm just gonna go, go with it, okay? So here's what we're gonna do. Drop some hearts if you want to see our big reveal. Who's excited and let's, let's just, one more round of guessing games in, in the comments. One more round, one more round. What could it be? What do you hear? What sound do you hear right now? What could this product be that I'm about to sneak peek for you all? It's adorable. And it is something you all have been requesting. And maybe I'll just pull one out for you. Sneaky peeky here at something amazing that is coming soon. That is another really awesome way to kickstart your cleanse and a pre-cleanse. Who has heard of micellar or micellar water? And drop some hearts if you love micellar and micellar water. Whoa, we just dropped like 2,000 hearts so fast. This is so fun. This is amazing. So micellar is another option for a pre-cleanse. So micellar uses special um, oil-loving molecules that bunch together called micelles. Now micelles and those, those, when those surfactants grab onto each other, they form a micelle. Now micelles are in all cleansers pretty much. Like that is a differentiator in a cleanser is the use of surfactants. And not all surfactants, which are those molecules that love water and oil so they can grab onto the oil and still be rinsed away with water. But micellar uses 
a special um, oil type molecule in soft water. So water that has had all of those impurities and all of the yuckies removed, all of those hard minerals. And so it is a soft water with suspended micelles and they gently pull away dirt, oil, and impurities. And they are just phenomenal for wiping and removing makeup and refreshing. Okay, that's a great question. Would oils give more of a cleanse than the wipes? You are asking such great questions and we're gonna get into it and, and the difference between the two. Now, remember oil naturally breaks down uh, makeup and it is very good at removing oil, but a straight up oil like this does not have any surfactants in it. So the lack of surfactants in this, my pug just broke into my office too, by the way. So you might hear him snoring under my desk now because <laughs> he just opened my door <laughs> with his head. <laughs> but um, oils don't have surfactants in them. They are just an oil. And because they don't have those molecules that can be rinsed away as easily, depending on your skin type, we wanna make sure that we're not leaving too much oil residue on the skin. The difference between those are some people want something more water-based as a makeup remover or a pre-cleanse, or maybe they want to do the oil cleanse and they want to, instead of just using a cotton round or a towel, you want to follow it with a wipe and just wipe off and cleanse. There's so many ways to use them. Um, and it is a personal preference. That's the thing is that everybody has a preference for what their skin likes and what they want to use. And it is actually really important for us as a brand to actually be able to offer people different things to be able if someone prefers an oil or if they prefer a micellar. I love keeping these on hand too when I'm doing my makeup or other things. I can make sure I'm removing any residue off of my hands. I think they're super multifunctional and I love them. Yes, and bring them while you're traveling. Um, so Ginny, would the wipes be the first step in the double cleanse? I would say you can choose oil or you can choose a micellar or you can do the oil then the micellar. If I were, if someone were gonna use them both, I would go oil first, then micellar and then cleanse. And it is very important to note that a micellar wipe is not intended to replace your cleanser. So it is not a replacement for a traditional cleansing step because you still wanna, these still do have the micelles in them. So they still will have, even if it's a very gentle, very mild surfactant, you still do want to rinse away and then cleanse off. Um, yes, and see, I, they are biodegradable. So yes, these are absolutely biodegradable. That's very important to us. Um, they have cucumber in them which I love, cucumbers moisturizing and it's soothing. Um, and you know those spa pictures where we have cucumbers on the eyes and everything, yes. Cucumber packed, aloe packed, and I cannot remember who asked this. Is it Was it Barbara that asked this? So these actually have pomegranate in them. Pomegranate is an amazing antioxidant, but it's also very vitamin C rich. I love pomegranate extract, it's anti-inflammatory. It is a wonderful, wonderful antioxidant. I love it, love it, love it. But it's rich in vitamin C. And I saw someone asking, are we going to have vitamin C cleansing wipes? I'm like, well, you got cucumber, pomegranate, aloe, and that's got some really aw an awesome kick of natural vitamin C in there. Um, but again, like very soothing, very anti-inflammatory. They are biodegradable. So that is our big reveal. And yes, if you go on the website and you search the word wipes, you can actually get on our wait list for the wipes and you will not have to wait soon. And I can guarantee that when these become available, which will be soon, like I can't even begin to describe to you what's gonna happen. Like we have something very, very cool in store for you all. So stay tuned, get on that list as well. Um, and it will be amazing. And I did see a comment about subtitles um, I, we don't really have the ability to put subtitles on, on these right now, but when we repost this in the VIP group, we will make sure that um, we do uh, what we can to make sure we have subtitles. It's more the platform than anything. Yes, Sandy, I need them soon. Um, so yes, I'm very excited for these. And a micellar is just another option because it's nice to have products that for a pre-cleanse that are more oil-based. 
um, and more water-based. But again, these are not meant to replace your cleanser and this is how I like to use them. So I like to take them and I really, I do this little wrapping motion like this around my fingers. And I'm going to try and avoid actually removing my makeup at this point, but maybe at the end I will. Um, Cause I have to do my moment of Zen. And what I like to do is I like to steady the face if I need to, cause I don't want to tug and pull. And then I do a downward wiping motion on my lashes and out, and then I clean underneath. So I'm not scrubbing. We don't want to scrub. We don't want to tug. We don't want to pull. And I want to make sure you all promise me that we're not just scrubbing around the face. This is the whole concept of micellar is gentle cleansing. And so I want you all to take that um, into the motion that you use. It is gentle, gentle around the face. I usually just do a pass or so around the face at most. And then on the eye, we go down very gently and then up. So I go down, 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 and then up and out. And that is my preferred method of using this. And they are, they're very cooling. Um, they feel amazing and they just smell very fresh. So they smell very just lightly cucumbery and I'm, I'm obsessed with them. The, and just something like a wipe, there are so many ways to use them. Oh, oh here they are, <laughs> sneaky peeky. But um, they're just a very functional, multifaceted type product to have. And I've even seen some of you say that you discovered the reason why your eyes were irritated when you were using eye products is that you forgot you were using your very active products like your retinol and it was on your hands and then you were going in with your eye care. What a great thing to do is to have these on hand and just wipe down your hands after you're using um, super active serums to make sure your skin is cleansed before you go in around the delicate eye area. So that's another way. How many in a package? There are 30 pre-moistened wipes in the package. And yes, they are biodegradable. Um, I'm reading, I'm reading, I'm reading. Okay, yes, they are very, very gentle. And when can you purchase them? I am not allowed to reveal an exact date. It will be very, very soon. And um, you're gonna be really excited. So make sure you get on that wait list because you're gonna be so happy. You're gonna be so, so happy. And we are over 6,000 hearts. You all are just blowing my mind right now. I'm obsessed. I'm obsessed. So cleansing. Let's talk about, we've been all, we've been all obsessed with pre-cleansing. We haven't even talked about traditional cleansing. Well, traditional cleansing is, I mean, I think that the world of cleansers has evolved so much. Um, and I'm so excited to see uh, what more we can do here at GoPure 2 um, because I'm so obsessed with our vitamin C cleanser. This cleanser, is gel based, it's very gentle, and it's free of SLS. So remember when I said, um, how much will they cost? They will be $7.99 for a pack, I believe, I think, if someone can confirm. <laughs> I don't know if I was allowed to say that, but I just did. <laughs> I'm always just on live causing trouble. <laughs> I can't be stopped. Um, but I know, Sandy, they're great. I'm, I, and again, I wanna say something. I am your resident skeptic. I am here for each and every one of you to be a skeptic. And I am a, a skeptic with wipes. Wipes are not all created equally. And not all wipes are a true, are a micellar wipe that are gentle. Some have much more harsh surfactants in them. Some of them, the cloth can be very damaging. These have a very gentle cloth that is biodegradable. And the formulation is extremely gentle yet effective. Um, and so, I, when I heard about the wipes, I was like, okay, well, these better be great. And of course, because again, my job is to be a skeptic for each and every one of you. <laughs> and I just, I'm so happy. I am so impressed. I do love them so much. And again, I think a, a micellar wipe is just, there's so many ways you can use them and they're amazing. And I traveled with them and I just think they're amazing, like just as a refresh generally. Now, yes, and they're dropping the link to sign up and get on the wait list. I know, <laughs> Sherry, it is because I am, I'm your esthetician. That's what I'm here to do. That's, that's what I love so much. So now let's talk about cleansing. We, remember, we wanna set our skin up for success during the day, 
We want to make sure that we are supporting our skin in that protection mode that it wants to be in to protect from those, uh, those free radicals and that UV damage. And at night, our skin is in that repair and restore mode. And we wanna make sure that we are making, we have a clean slate on our skin. So those ingredients that we're using in the routine with the products that stay on the skin can penetrate and do their job. Now, if we don't cleanse our skin, what happens? So like I said, during the day, pollution amplifies the negative impact of free radicals on the skin. And we have those allergens and those stressors and our skin can um, be inflamed and it can be irritated and that's what contributes to those visible signs of aging. And at night, excess dirt and oil and that pollution and those impurities can accumulate on the skin as well as those excess skin cells. And that can clog our pores and make our pores look enlarged. It can cause breakouts, but it can also cause a lot of irritation. And those types of impurities are very, very hard when they're on the skin and they naturally damage our lipid barrier that we want to protect so much. So it's very, very important to cleanse day and night because we want to support our skin's natural function to do its best. And then we also want the skincare we put on to be able to penetrate. And like I said, our PM routine, it's absolutely crucial. Now, I do want to make a side note because I've had this question a lot and I don't know if it's been asked. Can you over cleanse the skin? Yes, you can over cleanse the skin. And as an esthetician, I've seen especially oily and breakout prone skin types um, may want to do a midday cleanse. Um, but if we over cleanse our skin, if we're overdoing it, or if we are using products that are harsh and have harsh surfactants like sodium lauryl sulfate, which is SLS and ours is sulfate free. Sulfates are kind of non-discerning um, surfactants. They can take too much of the good away with the bad. And when you have oilier um, skin or breakout prone skin, we can maybe get in a habit where we feel like we don't want that oil on our skin and we wanna cleanse it maybe too much. Um, what will then happen is our skin will try and compromise by actually wanting to produce more oil. So if you're over cleansing and you have oilier skin, it can actually make your skin want to be more oily. Um, it can throw our lipid barrier way out of balance and it can cause inflammation and irritation. And a compromise barrier is actually um, a major component to acne and breakouts. And sometimes if I can get someone to settle down a little bit and not overdo it, they will actually see um, that oiliness and those breakouts begin to resolve because they are actually doing more to support their barrier and they're using less harsh ingredients, which is incredibly important. So that's why I love this cleanser because it's gentle and it's gel based and gentle and effective is the name of the game with cleansing. And I absolutely, absolutely love this cleanser. Now, what if you work out? What if you went on a hike? What if you're at the beach and you have that sweat on your face? If you have an excessive amount of sweat on the skin or obviously got dirty throughout the day, um, midday, obviously, yes, we do want to cleanse that but we still wanna do it gently. Um, and that's where something like a micellar wipe can be really great as well. But sweat can cause a lot of irritation on the skin. So that is the one main exception is that if you're doing something that is causing excessive sweating, um, especially if you're wearing a hat. I mean, I have three teens that play baseball and they wear baseball helmets or hats all the time. Something like that, yes, it can actually be very beneficial to make sure that is removed from the skin. And yes, they have a lovely scent. Everything has a nice scent. But it's natural in the components of it. What about this? I don't think this really has a scent. I don't feel like, does anyone feel like this cleanser has a scent to it? I don't feel like it does actually. I love it. And I am super sensitive to smells where I will actually get um, smell triggered migraines. <laughs> And there are some cleansers and skincare products out there that I, I literally cannot even begin to use because I will smell it and I will get an instant headache. Um, and there is nothing in the GoPure line that bothers me at all. I love the, because remember, we don't put artificial fragrances or unnecessary added fragrances in these products, which is very, very important. Um, Rachel, I get hormonal acne once a month, really break out badly. What can I do to calm that down? That just takes a... Um, specific 
routine geared that we make adjustments towards. Maybe I'll do a live kind of talking about hormonal breakouts. I'll make sure I get that on the list because that's that's more of a conversation. Um, but that that's a really great point. And I would love to do a live on that, um, on hormonal breakouts and those types of things. Um, yes, it is. I'm so sensitive to smells and I just love that um, our wipes bad for skin. So our wipes bad for skin. Um, it depends on the product. It depends on the wipe. It depends on the cloth. It depends on the surfactants that are in there and all of the other ingredients. Um, and what is bad for the skin is that even if you have the best wipe in the world, if it is used improperly, um, if you are overusing it, if you are using a wipe to substitute your cleanser, or if you are scrubbing on the skin, that could always be problematic. So there's best practices for use as well. Remember, wipes do not generally take the place of your, your cleansing. They're, they're not... Um, you know, the lazy girl's guide to skincare, as I've seen, you know, that's not what they're for. Um, so you just wanna make sure you're using them appropriately. Um, okay. Now, remember, like I said, we have 100 billion bacteria that live on our skin at any given time, and some are good and contribute to a healthy biome, um, but some are not great. And one bacteria, if this is any motivation, <laughs> for you all to wash your face at night, aside from everything else I've said. One bacteria can turn into 16 million in 12 hours. Bacteria multiply exponentially. And when they're so microscopic and they multiply exponentially, that's how we can have so many living on our skin at any given time. But that is also how it can get so out of control. And there is a specific type of bacteria that contributes to acne and breakouts um, that lives inside our pores and it feeds off of an imbalance in our barrier and our biome. So it is very important to cleanse our skin, but make sure we're not overdoing it. And that is again why I am such a huge fan of the fact that this cleanser is um, free of SLS because sodium lauryl sulfate, as I said, is a surfactant, is one of those cleansing molecules that form those micelles that love oil and love water. So they can grab onto the excess oil and dirt and the gunk and rinse away cleanly. But some of those surfactants like SLS do too much and they will completely strip our barrier and take away the good along with the bad and we don't wanna, we don't wanna do that. So gentle cleansing is always gonna be ideal. Um, now, it is important to pay attention to how your skin feels after cleansing. We want to make sure that our skin does not feel too tight. That squeaky clean feeling is not really what we're going for. We want to make sure that it is effective, but not overdone. So we wanna make sure our skin does not feel overly tight. We wanna make sure our skin is not feeling too stingy. Now, if you have dry skin and lack a lot of oil naturally in your skin, you know, that can, it can feel that way, which is why I love starting with an oil cleanse to really bolster that barrier before we use a traditional cleanser. But you just wanna make sure your skin is not feeling tight, dry, stingy. I mean, it should not feel red and irritated after cleansing. That's very, very important. Um, but you also wanna make sure your skin does feel clean. You wanna make sure you don't feel like there is a residue on your skin. Um, and I love the vitamin C cleanser because it is packed with vitamin C, which is that brightening. Remember, our skin loves vitamin C day and night. Vitamin C is such an amazing ingredient. Um, and then it has that rose hip in there, which is packed with vitamins A, C, and E. Rose hip is one of my, again, these products are packed with my favorite ingredients, which is why I work here. <laughs> I love the products and I love the ingredients, but it is so naturally hydrating and moisturizing. And then aloe is naturally anti-pollution. I don't know if I've said that a ton, but aloe is an amazing antioxidant. It's very hydrating, has a huge water content naturally, but is very naturally anti-pollution, which I love. Um, and it is soothing and calming on our barrier. And so it has all of these amazing ingredients, but it also has tea tree and some incredible oils in this cleanser. And it's just, they work in concert to ensure that our skin is gently cleansed and not overdone. And I do just love that it works so well for all skin types. So, Yes, I love that. Changing your pillowcases regularly too. I think that's a great tip. And I love all the tips that you all share in the chat. That's why I, lo I love the chats on these so much because you all share so much and you have such good insight and you always, I mean, I will always forget to say something and you always throw out these tidbits that I love because you're always sharing so much great, so many great nuggets of wisdom from your own experience. Um, and I appreciate it so much. It's amazing. Can I still use it with my retinol if I'm using? Yes, you may. 
You can use oil with your retinol if you're using it to pre-cleanse, absolutely. Um, no, so is sodium lauryl sarcosinate the same? No, sodium lauryl sulfate is very different from other um, laurels um, and other surfactants. So I know that there's a lot of words in skincare that can seem similar, so we think they're the same, but even um, they're, they are very, very different um, chemical compounds. They work very, very differently. We actually use um, a coconut derived surfactant in our cleanser, which is amazing. Um, and so, and there's also a difference sometimes between a molecule that is derived from natural sources and ones that are just straight up created in a lab. So um, it's very easy to look at some of these words and think that they are the same or similar. And their surfactants are a huge category. Um, of those those molecules that are water and oil loving and they work very very differently and have very different levels of efficacy for removing the bad stuff and then how much they impact our natural barrier but that is a great question I love when you ask stuff like this um, Sandra if vitamin C um, the, okay that is a great great point too she says vitamin C cleanser irritates my eyes should I should I just be using the argan oil for the eye area a lot of times cleansers are not actually meant to be used on the eye area. Um, I'm kind of bad and I cleanser all over depending on what it is. However, 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 um, a general rule in skincare unilaterally is we don't use our, our cleansers on our eyes. That's why I love an oil makeup wipe combo, sometimes just on the eyes, because we can do that oil cleanse, we can remove that use a little micellar water to remove the residue from the oil and then do the cleanse and potentially avoid the eye area. Oh, did we have a winner? Did Juju win? All right, let's, let's, let's get into how to cleanse. So, cause I am, we're, we're, we're getting down on time here. So let's use, let's talk about how to cleanse. So warm water, best practices, warm water and I was gonna have you guess so now I'm bad because I was gonna say what's what's the best type of water to use cold lukewarm to warm or hot well I just told you it is warm cold water just doesn't clean as effectively um, and cold water can actually keep the oils on your skin and make them kind of lock up and it can I know crystal I'm sorry we just popped up the pole I'm so bad <laughs> at the worst <laughs> but <laughs> see I told you I just cause trouble here all the time when I'm live um, now cold water just can when you think about what happens if you're washing a dish what would happen if you had something covered in oil and you put cold water on it it would really make those oil molecules lock up and almost want to like I don't want to say harden but tighten um, and so we don't want that on our skin um, but hot water can compromise our skin's barrier. It can actually be stripping and drying and be very, very hard on our skin. And I mean, I'm a girl who loves a hot shower. Trust me, I am a girl who loves a hot shower. Um, but we have to be very, very careful to not use too much hot water. And another thing that I will add to this in the conversation is that heat exacerbates the appearance of dark spots and hyperpigmentation. Um, and so if we want to be working on the appearance of hyperpigmentation, everything from melasma to dark spots and sunspots to post-inflammatory hyperpigmentation, like marks from where we had breakouts or trauma to the skin, hot water and heat makes it more visible. So yes, Rose, solidify. That's, that's, <laughs> that's the word I'm looking for. <laughs> um, but um, so heat is actually not awesome for our skin. It's just not. Um, and so finding that lukewarm to warm temperature is going to be really effective at cleaning our skin just without being problematic. So that is a really important best practice on our skin is to make sure we, we are using the right water temperature. So after we, if we have done our, our pre-cleanse with our oils or our micellar or both, you know, our skin is probably already damp and we are going to take a nickel sized amount of our product in our hand with a little water. I prefer to lather my cleanser in my hands before I lather it on my face. I want to activate it. If you, if you just put the cleanser in your face and go, that is not wrong. That is not a problem. I just personally love 
to activate in my hands. That's just the way I like to do it. Then I massage it around the face. And like we had a comment before, um, probably avoiding the eye area. Um, and again, um, general best practices in skincare, most cleansers should not be, just use straight up on the eye, um, around the face, massaging, massaging, massaging. And I like to integrate in different levels of pressure just to stimulate circulation potentially, move that lymph a bit, um, and just massage around the face, neck. And that's another reason why I love the wipes. How hard is it when we are cleansing not in the shower to actually cleanse our neck and decollete? I do love a wipe for that too. Um, it's using a wash washcloth too harsh on skin. Great, great question. So I prefer to use my hands. I personally do not use devices on my skin or washcloths when I'm washing, mostly because I have incredibly sensitive skin and I do believe that my natural moisture barrier is fairly delicate and I live in a place that is extremely dry. Am I gonna tell someone to not use a washcloth or a device? No, but I will say that you do wanna make sure that you are not overdoing it and you, because anytime we're using a brush or a washcloth in our routine and we are causing friction on the face, that is essentially a form of physical exfoliation even if it is light. And those can always have the potential to cause some form of irritation. Plus washcloths have the potential to have residual components from what they were washed in or if there were fabric softeners or any of those things which can potentially be irritating on the face. So I use my hands, I'm a hands girl. When I cleanse, that's me personally. Um, I would, um, yes, yeah, so that's what I call, I activate the suds, I activate the surfactants. So yes, I prefer to use my hands. I like to activate the surfactants, get it all bubbly, sudsy, happy in my hands, and then massage it on. Now, how long do we cleanse? Great question. I'm a 60 second cleanse person because I wanna make sure, now remember, if we're using something gentle, if we're using warm water and we're massaging around the face, you know, we want to make sure that we are leaving the product on the skin enough. I mean, you want the vitamin C and all these other amazing ingredients to be able to get to work, right? So if your cleanse is too quick, those ingredients just aren't going to have the same ability to work their magic on the skin. So we do, um, yeah, so a washcloth can in essence be exfoliating. Um, so, we, um, sorry, if I'm bouncing around, I'm, I'm apologize. I'm talking and responding to multiple comments. <laughs> However, um, yes, um, 60 seconds. Um, and yes, anytime we're using something on the face besides our hands, it does have the potential to offer a mild level of exfoliation because it's causing friction, right? Um, what cleanser should I use while pregnant? Um, that So when you are pregnant, um, it is very important to make sure that you are avoiding certain ingredients. Um, a lot of things like you don't want retinoids, you don't want peroxides, um, and you have to, you can only typically use very low levels of salicylic acid or none, which are three of our favorite breakout fighting cleansers because Miss Brown said that she is breaking out while pregnant. One of the things um, with pregnancy as well is that we are going through constant hormonal changes which can trigger breakouts. So sometimes that is a conversation that we have with our doctor and our dermatologist just so we can make sure that we are finding something that is effective at treating breakouts that they support while we are pregnant. The vitamin C cleanser is absolutely safe to use, but if we feel like we are having additional sensitivities to our skin, which is absolutely, absolutely possible when I was pregnant, um, my first trimester, um, I was, I broke out so badly and absolutely nothing. It was, it was so hard for me to find a combination of products that worked for me. Um, if you would like, we can absolutely have an offline chat as well. I'd be very happy to support you in helping that. But sometimes it's just because we have those limitations on what we can use while pregnant, while we are also dealing with those hormonal changes, those additional sensitivities and triggers. Sometimes it can just be a, a conversation that we have um, with our doctor and a dermatologist as well. Um, that's, that's very important for me to just make sure that I am directing um, to doctors when I think it might be um, an important conversation to have. Um, so what are we, I'm reading comments. 
Do, do, do. Yes, so we're cleansing and I see decollete in an upward motion. Generally, I love upward and outward um, and then down around the perimeter. So it is a cleansing, cleansing, cleansing down around the perimeter, work up and just getting all those like nooks and crannies and things where we can get um, excess buildup. Now I do wanna make a comment because we have been chatting about exfoliation. If you are using something like your microdermabrasion resurfacing exfoliator, we just follow our cleanse with this while the skin is still damp. Um, any exfoliants, masks, any of those things that are rinsed from the skin, and I know some people just wipe off the enzyme mask, some people rinse. So any product that is being rinsed from the skin, I kind of consider in the cleansing phase. So um, while the skin is still damp, we can just go in with those products that we apply to the skin. I like to leave this on for five minutes, um, massage it on gently, let it sit for five minutes, gently massage it off because I want those exfoliating acids to get to work as well. Um, and then we gently, after we've rinsed our skin, and it is important to rin rinse our skin thoroughly with that warm water. Um, if you do wanna use a washcloth, um, I'm actually not opposed to using a damp washcloth to aid in the rinsing process, um, more as opposed to like the cleansing process. Um, but pat your skin dry with a clean, soft towel. I am a total skin nerd and I'm, I am admittedly kind of extra with some things. I use a clean towel every time I cleanse my skin. <laughs> I get a fresh clean towel um, and I use that every time I cleanse my skin as a fresh towel that I use to pat my skin dry. Um, that might seem kind of extra, but <laughs> it's what I do because I think it is very important to just know that I don't have anything else on that after I've cleansed my skin. I don't want to grab a towel that has potential bacteria or anything else on it. Um, what is the best way to get heavy sunscreen off your face and body like when you've been at the beach? So that's a, Rose, that's a great question. And that is why um, I, I double cleanse. Anytime you feel like you have extra, extra heaviness, heavy grime, heavy product on the skin, those are times when I especially do love a double cleanse, whether you're starting with an oil cleanse or whether you're starting with our soon to be launching amazing micellar um, makeup remover wipes. Um, and then you just, you wanna do a double cleanse, but again, you don't wanna go too extra. And then sometimes those are times if I feel like I have a little extra on, that's a great time to possibly integrate that scrub after we cleanse because we don't wanna scrub or mask on dirty skin. It's really important. We wanna make sure we've gone through the those cleansing phases before we move on to our exfoliants and masks um, and it is so anytime you feel like there's extra we will, that's a great time to use an additional exfoliant but remember we don't want to exfoliate more than one to three times per week yes um, Rika says she uses microfiber towels and washcloths to clean my face um, yes that is, that's great. I love microfiber. I actually need a bunch of new ones. I need to re-up on my towels. Um, that, but I have, I have special towels that are just for drying my face. I am such a nerd, but it's fine. Um, I buy packs on Amazon <laughs> of microfiber and uh, regular salon towels is, are one of my favorite things. Um, so finishing our cleansing phase. So the cleansing phase to me is that phase where we are re removing that dirt, oil, impurities, makeup, allergens, stressors, any of those things from the skin um, before we move on to the steps where our skincare stays on the skin. So this cleansing and balancing phase is the way I really like to think about it and all of those things. So we talked about the pre-cleanse and what could be used for that, our traditional cleanse. We touched on exfoliants and masks and how that fits into that phase. And when we're ready to move on to the steps and exit that cleansing and balancing phase, that is when we tone. So toning is that essential um, balancing step. So um, toning is amazing for just making sure that we are restoring the skin back to the pH that it wants to be. The hydrating toner is a very unique toner because it is hydrating. It's aloe based. Um, it is, has that rose hip and it is very refreshing on the skin. And when I get asked, when do we tone? Well, you tone when you're done with all of the things that you rinse off the face and when you're ready to move on to the steps where skincare stays on the face. Um, 
Yes, Arlene says she uses a microdermabrasion in the shower to get the best possible rinse off. Yes, I love that. And yes, Rose, we did. We're actually at 11K right now for hearts. You guys are crushing it with the hearts. This is so much fun. Um, and yes, the toner is awesome. And the toner is balancing. Um, and it for me, it works for most skin types. Um, and... Oh, Cammie, can we put the toner in a spray bottle? That is a really great question. Are you, um, you know, you maybe have to try if you wanted to put it in a spray bottle. Now, there are two main ways to use the toner. This toner is a rich hydrating toner. So, and it's because it has that aloe, it's slightly gel-like. See how it drips more slowly and how that drop is hanging on there a bit? So that is, can you see? Um, so it is gel-like. I use a cotton round. I love using cotton rounds but you can absolutely use it like an essence on your hands. I have zero problems with that. If you wanna pump it in your hands, press it around the face and use it like an essence, you can absolutely do that as well. But we tone when we're ready to move on to those additional steps and our serums where skincare stays on the face because toner is that first step, that first product that we use when we apply it to the skin, it stays there. We're not rinsing it off. And um, with that in mind, do we leave our skin damp or do we dry it? <laughs> well, it depends on what you're using. Um, and we've, I've talked about this a lot, so I'm just gonna touch on it, but there's a lot of information. Remember, join our VIP community if you have any additional questions. If there was a question here um, that I did not answer, make sure you start putting contact me in the comments here. Um, because then we can reach out to you and help you additionally answer your questions. Or if you had a question for me or customer service, um, put contact me and we will ask for your email and we will contact you, okay? So the final part of this is, do we leave our skin slightly damp? What does that look like? And, um, or do we dry it? So if we're toning, it may seem while well, we've, we've dried our skin, but our skin does actually retain a level of hydration and moisture from just cleansing. So if we're moving through the steps, there's still gonna be a dampness to the skin, but we don't want our skin to be wet. Um, we just want some of that inherent like dampness on the skin, or you can get a little spritz bottle. I just get a little spray bottle or um, like a rose water or something, a hydrosol um, and spritz the skin if I want some additional moisturizer before I move on to some of my more humectant rich products, like of course the hyaluronic acid serum or a hydrate and smooth serum. But our vitamin C products are also very, very humectant rich. Now, if you're using retinol and at night, I do like the skin to fully dry. I give it about five minutes so that residual moisture and hydration can evaporate off because retinol is best applied on drier skin um, because water and water left on the skin actually aids in the penetration of water loving ingredients. So we have water in our skin naturally. And the more, when we have that dampness to our skin, whether it's just left over from cleansing or we spritz it, it will actually aid in the penetration of water loving ingredients, which is awesome except with retinol that can increase if it goes into our skin too fast it's one of the things that can potentially cause irritation so post cleansing toning all that i do like to give my skin a little bit of time to dry before i move on to retinol products just to ensure we're taking care of our skin and we are not um, doing anything that can increase potential for irritation with retinol because we love her but she you know she can be a handful sometimes so <laughs> All right, so cleansing, yes, cleansing is an essential step in our skincare routine. The name of the game is gentle and effective cleansing. We wanna make sure we're removing those impurities without doing too much that is gonna damage um, the pH of our skin and that lipid barrier. Um, so we wanna remove those impurities without stripping and over drying. And we wanna just have that clean slate so our products can absorb um, and our skin can do its absolute best job at protecting us and it can always renew and restore um, to its best possible ability. So, um, yeah, so do we wait for retinol? Yes, I, I do love waiting five minutes for retinol. I'm gonna take a quick drink. Remember, if you want us to contact you, if you have a question for me or customer service, put contact me in the comments right now um, and we will ask for your email. I had so much fun. Let's do a last round of hearts. We're at 12K. 
Before we close out, let's see how many hearts we can get. And every time we're just gonna try and beat it. <laughs> And remember, our special reveal today was the soon-to-be-launching Micellar Makeup Wipes. On the site, if you go and you search the word wipes, um, we do have a link in here as well. You can actually get on our list. And when I tell you they are coming soon, and your mind is going to be blown when you see what we are dropping, when these drop, you're just going to freak out. You guys are going to be so excited, and I wish I could tell you. I wish I could tell you everything, but I can't. And I may have even told more than I was supposed to, but that's fine. <laughs> that's what I'm here for um, yes the vitamin C cleanser is safe in the sun vitamin C is wonderful in the sun and if you're gonna be in the sun make sure you have vitamin C and SPF on your skin that's why I love this because vitamin C is an amazing component um, for the sun because it is such a powerful antioxidant um, okay I'm gonna just scroll through and see if I can ah there's so many questions coming um, Thank you so much for being with us today. Make sure you're in our VIP group. Remember this conversation gets continued in our VIP community. Make sure you're following us on our social channels, um, Instagram, TikTok. We are about to launch a 15K giveaway as we try to get to 15,000 followers on our TikTok channel. So we're gonna be announcing details there. Make sure you join that so you do not miss a thing as well. Make sure you sign up for email and SMS. The SMS alerts are incredible because you never miss a deal that we're dropping. You're never gonna miss a sale and you're not gonna miss a live or a new blog. So email and SMS signups, make sure you get on those for sure. Um, yes, and I love seeing how much you all love your GoPure products and the difference that you've, they've made for your skin. And we love when you share your before and afters in your stories and your own tips and tricks in the VIP group, it's just incredible. Um, and thank you all so much for being here. Um, I love being your SC bestie. Um, and remember, um, you can shop this live. So this is your last chance to put anything in your cart you would like to get. Um, and we just love that you are here with us. Now remember, um, there's a delay when I close out these lives. So the content, um, is complete for the day. So feel free, you guys can hop off now. I usually like to have a little moment of zen at the end because I don't want it to cut off for you all while I am still talking. So remember, your last chance to shop and grab some things. Um, put contact me in the comments if you would like us to uh, ping you for your email address. And um, what should we do for our moment of zen? We got to 18 thousand hearts oh my goodness that is bonkers that is so awesome this is so much fun this is like our own little game show here to see what we can get so we're gonna have to remember that and see if we can beat it but this you guys are really crushing it here you're all crushing it um, with the questions the comments and the hearts and congratulations to all of our winners today the comments go by so fast I can't even see who's winning but we do like to choose a replay winner as well and I forgot to mention that at the beginning. So this will be posted in the VIP community and other places for a replay watcher to win. Um, but thank you so much for being here today. Oh, should I demo the wipe? Should I take off my makeup? Should we demo? Let's do that. Let's just, I'll demo the wipe a bit. From the pack, we open it up. And thank you so much for being here and joining us. Um, join us again. We will be live next Monday. So make sure you're watching the live next Monday. We don't want you to miss that one, um, but I'm gonna start demoing the wipe. I love that these are just like the perfect level of softness and dampness, and then I'm gonna demo the wipe and then pop off. So you guys don't have to stand and watch this at all, but I'm gonna just, this will be our moment of zen today, and I will wipe away the day with our, our wipes. 20K, 20K, yeah! this is awesome thank you so much for being here um thank you so much for you know supporting go pure and everything we're trying to accomplish here and because we want to make every single one of you feel amazing and impact your lives in a positive way all right so let's remember aloe cucumber pomegranate awesomeness so this is what i do thank you so much for joining us and here is your moment of skincare zen so i wrap i usually wrap like this and i'm going to start and i'm just going to wipe Wipe, wipe, wipe. Bam. Wipe, wipe, wipe. And then we're gonna go for the eyebrows. Oh, you guys are seeing that the eyebrow shenanigans unfold here. 
And then I like to work down, work down, down, gently down. Just to see how gentle this is. And then just up like that, down and up. Ah. See how easy this is? This is so easy. And I'm just being very gentle. So I do this downward motion really gently and then up. And then we're just, look at that. Look how easy that was. And I'm being very gentle. I'm being very, very gentle here. And it just feels so nourished and not heavy. I mean, I love these. These are so good. Very delicate. Do, do, do. And I'll just do little phases. Now I will say, I love mascara. <laughs> so I do have a lot of mascara on. <laughs> But look at that. Look how amazing that is. And it just wipes it off. Uh, yeah, I don't have a lot of coverage, but I will have a lot of mascara on. <laughs> and yes, Nancy, I have been told it will take off waterproof mascara. For me, when I do waterproof mascara, I absolutely love to start with a little oil. That's just me personally. Break it down a little bit, and then I can just remove any additional residue with this if I want. But look how, look how awesome that was. Okay, that was our moment of zen removing half of my face of makeup in just a few easy swipes and wipes. Look at that. Amaze, amaze, amaze. Love it. Okay. Now that we've been silly and done this, yes. <laughs> oh, thank you so much, Arlene. You all are amazing. All right. I'm going to say goodbye as I continue to use these wipes and you all have an amazing day and thank you so much for being here with us. So I'm going to be quiet now. I'm going to continue to remove the other half of my face of makeup. Um, then end the life. Bye. 21K, 21K hearts.